Okay, I'm doing a test. This is one millimeter Robilene twisted whipping twine. Um, I've got it set up here on a little hook and I am going to fill this bucket up with uh, half gallons of water at a time and then be able to measure or gauge the actual breaking strength of this line. And then I'm sending off, sorry, you can't really see it there. Then I'll be sending off um, a couple of stitchings that I did on rope to see which one works best uh, and get a break test done on that. Let's check those out. All right, we've got A and B. So A is stitched similar to what a uh, sewing machine would do, which is to do an inner stitch and then a mid stitch and then an outer stitch. So there's three passes here of doubled one millimeter Robilene. And then here is a different form of stitching where you stitch from the outside, right? You stitch through, you come around, you stitch through all the way around. So to give you guys some like rough uh, stats, I've got, I think it's a, between 15 and 16 stitches here times three, so 45 to 48. And then here I have, um, I believe it is 14 stitches on either side of doubled rope length. So, this is uh, RTI from Sterling. It's got a really good break strength. I think it's in the 5,000 range. Um, so I've tied two bowlines at the end here, or bowlines, however you want to call it. Anyhow, um, so they'll pull from, from here and put the other side of the hook on the machine, which will then test the break strength. It's approximately two inches or two thumb widths that I did, so I tried to make them uh, identical. That way I could get an idea of like what's the best stitching and pattern, etc., and see what the real break strength of this is. Good stuff. All right, so far I have two gallons of water right so two gallons of water weighs let's see a gallon weighs eight pounds and change so two gallons 16 pounds so far so good all right so it broke um, and it did not break at the knot it actually broke on the line Doubt you can see it. Uh, well, yeah, uh, so you probably can't see it. It's not going to focus on it so teeny. But it broke here, not on the knot, as well as right here, not on the knot. But they're not that mentioned that again, huh? So, anyhow, um, I had. I was in the middle of pouring my last, this would have been the sixth half gallon, so it would have been three three gallons, right? Um, it snapped with that much left. So I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna go on the shy side and say 2.75 gallons and do the math, figure out the breaking strength. Okay, so the break strength of the Robilene showed to be approximately 24 pounds. So when doubled, it should give me about 48 pounds per pass. Not counting the added support of the shrink tubing, um, stitching number or letter A, did three passes, approximately 15 stitches per pass. So 45 to 48 passes. Doubled one millimeter Robilene, expected strength is 21, 60 pounds or 9.6 kilonewtons to 23.04 pounds or 10.25 kilonewtons. I'm waiting on the actual test results to come back so that I can give the results. On stitching B, it's actually less expected strength. So 14 passes per side. So that's 28 passes plus four whippings around each end. 
approximately 36 passes. Double well millimeter Robilene, expected strength is 1728 pounds or 7.69 kilonewtons, um, which I'll be interested to see what the results are um, on approximately two inches worth, worth of stitching. So we'll see what happens. All right, so the test results are in, and here it is, uh, letter A, which is the uh, sewing machine uh, type of stitch that I, I hand sewed. Uh, that broke at 3,854 pounds, but it broke at the knot. Both of my tests broke at the knot. Um, I didn't know this. Uh, when you ask for a rope to be tested, they actually ask you to send like 10 feet of rope so that they can wrap it around the bar um, and then tie off uh, with some half hitches so that it doesn't break on, a, on any kind of knot that it actually tests the stitching that you're, that you're requesting to, to test. So uh, I didn't know that. I didn't have that much rope to send them. So they went ahead and performed the test as, as it was. And th that's the result, which um, I'm really happy with. It is um, much higher than I thought it was going to be. I still don't have a true answer to what the break strength of my stitching is. But that's okay. Um, 3,854 pounds, which is uh, roughly 17 kilonewtons, um, and the stitching still held up. I'll show you uh, an after photo uh, here of the, the actual stitching. Uh, this, this is both of them. Uh, yeah, so pretty impressed. Um, I like that. Uh, let's bring up the next one. And here it is. So stitching B, which was um, basically passing through the rope from one side to the other, uh, and then I had whipping on both ends. That broke at 3,549 pounds, or no, 40 pounds, sorry. Uh, roughly 15.75 kilonewtons. Um, again, broke on the knot. Uh, here's, again, another photo, the same photo I showed you a second ago of the after. Um, so you do see a little bit of distortion, um, etc. But still, again, really happy with the the result of, of the stitching. I at least know that it can handle, you know, between 30, 3,500 and 3,800 pounds. So if I if you have a piece of rope and you tie a knot in it, and you know that that rope is rated at 10,000 pounds, well. It actually is rated at 5,000 pounds at the knot. So, and you got to account for elongation and things like that. You know, if, if you were to drop, uh, of course, um, you know, if I were to put that much pressure on a piece of rope, I can imagine that I'd probably have broken my back or something <laughs> at the same time. So, anyhow, um, all in all, pretty happy with uh, the test results. Uh, at some point in the future, I you know, if I get some more line and, uh, you know, can spare 20 feet of rope and stitch it up and send it again, I'll, I'll do a follow-up. But uh, I think it, it proves, um, first of all, that stitching, uh, like imitating a sewing machine stitch, seems to be better. I, I actually like it better. Uh, it looks cleaner. It's uh, sharper. Uh, and, and stronger, uh, apparently. It, it probably, if I added a fourth row of, or a fourth pass of stitching, it, it might even give me um, that much more strength. I asked the guy uh, at, at our obsession what he thought of the stitching, and if he thought, you know, considering his knowledge and, and the things that he's seen, uh, if the stitching might have made it to 5,000. He said, um, didn't really know obviously uh, a lot can happen you know in 500 pounds um, but that's when he sent me this the, that photograph showing me uh, the after photo uh, he said he didn't actually do a lot of testing on hand stitches which which was interesting so but yeah good stuff I uh, hope you enjoyed the video please uh, like share subscribe uh, for cool stuff like this uh, I know this one didn't have a lot of action in it, just informational, but again, just, you know, trying to uh, uh, answer the question, is a hand stitch any good? 
and in my opinion, um, yeah, it is. Um, especially if you're using it for something like a, um, a pressic uh, to, you know, to climb with or, or whatever. Um, definitely, definitely can, can hold up to that kind of pressure. I mean, a, a 200 pound guy on a line uh, at any given moment, if he's using a pressic or uh, using a, a hand stitch to, to uh, make a meet you can or a, you know, any other kind of friction hitch, uh, you're gonna be putting 200, 250 pounds, you know, maybe 300 pounds if you swing from one tree to another, it, you know, it can't be, can't be that much. Uh, I mean, I'm not a rocket scientist, so I can't be 100% sure, but anyhow, hope you liked the video. And that's it. Catch you on the flip side.